Steve, the NTSB arrived on scene about an hour ago. They will take the lead in this investigation into what caused this tragedy. We do know that up to six people were involved in this on uh, this mid-air collision. And also, uh, spectators who witnessed this all go down are heartbroken. People, this, this is real. This, they just had an airplane crash out here. Tragedy in the sky. A mid-air collision of two World War II planes during the Wings Over Dallas air show. Below, thousands of spectators. In the moment's notice, it was all in flames. And, it, and at first, I thought, is that part of the show? Is that a detonation issue? Or is that... And they quickly realized there was something terribly wrong. Scott Hall and his 16 year old daughter Kia were right there. And I just see like flames and everything go flying and, you know, just fire everywhere. Oh my God! Oh my God! Kia captured the crash on her phone. Everyone was just in shock and it was really devastating. The commemorative Air Force said this crash happened around 1.15 when the pilots were doing a World War II flight demonstration, highlighting the aircrafts and their capabilities. When this collision happened, the maneuvers that they were going through were not dynamic at all. It was what we call bombers on parade. The two planes involved are the B 17 Flying Fortress, like the one you see here, and the Bell P 63 King Cobra. The B 17 holds four to five people on board, and a P 63 is a single pilot aircraft, up to six people involved. The families are being taken care of, they're receiving counseling. The commemorative Air Force has over 180 aircrafts and do these kind of shows all over the country. The pilots are volunteers and said each of them are very well trained to handle these aircrafts. There is a very strict process of training and hours. It is uh, very, very, all the pilots are vetted very carefully. Many of them have been flying for us for 20, 30 years or longer. Tonight, those pilots and crew members won't return home as this aviation community mourns. That was a husband, that was a son, that was an uncle, that was a brother.